also asking if you could help them get a visa to the U.S. The ceremony in Gander, Newfoundland is about to begin. We'll take you there live. Pentagon live ceremony at 9 a.m. this morning. You here. Bienvenue à Gander pour cette cérémonie spéciale aujourd'hui. This ceremony is being held to commemorate September 11, 2001. And it's also to recognize the wonderful generosity of all Canadians in the wake of those tragic events. Now, we are honored to have some distinguished guests joining us here on stage today. Please welcome the Mayor of Gander, His Worship Claude Elliott. We also have with us the Minister of Transport, the Honorable David Colinet. We have as well the Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, the Honorable Roger Grimes. His Honor, Lieutenant Governor Dr. Max House. As well, the United States Ambassador to Canada, His Excellency Mr. Paul Salucci. Please welcome our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Jean Chrétien. We also have welcome the following special guests in our front rows this morning. Please welcome the Right Honourable Joe Clark, leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Canada. Monsieur Gilles Dussep, chef de Bloc Québécois. Mr. Sven Robinson representing the New Democratic Party, and Mr. Grant Hill, representing the Canadian Alliance Party. During today's ceremony, we will hear remarks from our platform guests. We will also join with people around the world for a moment of silence to mark the time when the first plane struck the World Trade Center in New York last year. But first, I would like to present a special video that was prepared by the people of Lufthansa Airline, whose passengers and whose planes landed at Canadian airports last September 11. This video is a tribute to the people of Gander and to Halifax, and features a song written and performed by three Lufthansa pilots who's landed at these sites. C'est une des nombres marques d'appréciation quand reçu la Canadien. The video, please.
Special thank you to the pilots and a special thank you to Charlie Rogers, a volunteer firefighter from the town of Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, for that stirring rendition of the Ode to Newfoundland. It is now my pleasure to introduce the mayor of the town of Gander, His Worship, Claude Elliott. As people know around the world, the town of Gander was instrumental in assisting stranded passengers last September 11. A wonderful welcome for Mayor Elliott. Mr. Prime Minister, platform guests, 
invited guests, fellow mayors, ladies and gentlemen. One year ago today, a tragic event occurred in the United States. At that time, little did we know the effect that it would have on our region. On that day, close to 6,900 passengers and crew came to town. We responded in the only way in which we know how. We hope in our hearts and our homes to those strangers. Since then, many honors have been bestowed upon us. Tributes from passengers and crew, family and friends from all over the world. We have received thousands of emails, cards and letters. We even had a letter from a school group of children in Hawaii, and they wanted to change the name of Gander, and they said they want to describe a wonderful and general person, and the word is Ganderful. Lufthansa German Airlines have named an aircraft Gander Halifax, and in their 75-year history, it's the first time they've been outside of their country to honor and the town of Gander and the city of Halifax representing our country, Canada. Students representing Gander Academy will be flying to London next month at compliments of Virgin Airlines. Computers, scholarships, donations have been donated to our children and to our service organizations. We have received quilts from over the United States, books, and we even received three boxes of citrus fruits from Florida. <laughs> However, Mr. Prime Minister, to be chosen to represent Hall of Canada in this event today and to be a symbolic of the compassionate deeds of all Canadians performed during September the 11th, this is the greatest honor that could have been bestowed upon us. Today, Today, I want to say thank you to all the volunteers. There's at least 12,000 people in this region that is as deserving to stand here today as I am. Mr. Ambassador, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of the United States as they pay tribute to the many people who lost their lives last September the 11th. Many people across our great country volunteered to help these stranded passengers with little thought of being recognized. And today, on behalf of all the citizens of Canada, it is my pleasure to say thank you for this tremendous honor. Thank you very much, Mayor Elliott. The people of Gander in the area have been recognized all over the world for their acts of kindness and compassion. They uh, truly represent what's in us all. But of course, there are many communities throughout Newfoundland and Labrador who had a major role to play. We are joined today by mayors from communities all around Newfoundland and Labrador. We know that the countless hours of spent in preparation and, and service to stranded passengers was well spent. But I also want to say that there are a number of people, including religious, community and service organizations who had a major role to play, airlines personnel, the Red Cross played a major role, as well as each and every one of us, individual citizens. It is of course fitting that, they, that we now pay tribute to them for the round-the-clock service they played in the days after September 11. Representing all of these people, indeed all of Newfoundland and Labrador, is the Premier of our province, the Honourable Roger Grimes. Premier. Thank you very much, uh, Jerry. Prime Minister, Ambassador, Your Worship, Your Honours, Minister Kelly, other special guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning everyone. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you here today to these ceremonies in Gander as well as send greetings to those attending similar ceremonies elsewhere, particularly in the city of New York with our southern neighbors in the United States of America. We're very proud, as the mayor said, that the prime minister is attending this commemorative ceremony here in the town of Gander today. As well, I extend a warm welcome again to our good friend, Ambassador Salucci, who has returned following a similar event last fall in our capital city of St. John's. Welcome again, Ambassador. 
and I'm particularly honored, <laughs> particularly honored on behalf of the people of Newfoundland and Labrador to welcome and greet all of you who have returned to Gander to commemorate your time here just one short year ago. On behalf of the people of Newfoundland and Labrador, I extend warmest greetings as well to the volunteers and citizens who gave their time and energy to complete strangers in their time of need. I know that those unexpected visitors appreciated and will never forget your efforts on their behalf. Today we gather solemnly to remember again the many, the many innocent lives lost one year ago. We still feel the loss experienced by our friends in the United States and share the pain felt around the world as we witness attacks on our southern neighbors. The attacks affected many nations, including our own, and we too needlessly lost sons and daughters that day. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians send our sympathies to the many people grieving on this dark anniversary. While we take a moment to silently reflect on the lives lost and the potential that was lost with them last year, we also take a moment to remember the manner in which countless countless numbers of people responded with compassion, valor, and strength of spirit. The people in New York, in Washington, and on the plane that went down in Pennsylvania all demonstrated courage in the face of danger. People all over Canada demonstrated humanity in the face of anger and loss. Today's ceremony is our way of commemorating the people here in the Gander area, in other parts of our province, and other parts of Canada for their humanitarian efforts in the days following the terrorist attacks. Strength of spirit is something that's not always easy to find in times of difficulty, especially as we gather here to remember those who have been lost. But it is at this time when we need it most that we have friends and family standing by us providing that strength. It's my pleasure today to be here to speak on behalf of the province and a province of people filled with people who are strong in spirit and full of compassion and humanity. I know that there are many people, unexpected guests, who can tell stories and have told stories of the care offered freely by Newfoundlanders and Labradorians in the aftermath of last September 11th. They can speak about the sense of community as well as the individual acts of kindness. They tell their friends and family about meals served in school gymnasia. They tell them about local residents taking them on tours of the area, and they tell them about whole communities who stopped what they were doing to help out. But most importantly, the unexpected guests tell friends and family about coming into a stranger's home and then a few days later leaving a friend's home here in Newfoundland and Labrador. The people of this province have been commended, as the mayor said, in small personal circles by the people who experienced the hospitality and the help and the people of Newfoundland and Labrador have been recognized by media here in Canada and the United States for their compassion and caring. We appreciate the thanks, but we did it in Newfoundland and Labrador because it's what people do in difficult circumstances. They help those that need a shoulder to cry on, a place to sleep, and a good meal. Newfoundland and Labrador, because of its geography and history, shares a strong sense of community with the whole world. We have faced difficulties affecting Europe and those are face, facing and affecting North America. And we've stood with our neighbors every time when they've needed us. On behalf of all those people who came out to help and offer themselves one year ago today, we send our sincere regrets and sympathies to those whose friends and family members are no longer with us. Please know that we share in your mourning. Thank all of you for coming here today to share in this commemorative ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Premier Grimes. Over the past year, people have found their own ways to cope with the tragic events of September 11. The young people at Gander Academy turned to music and with their teacher have composed a song of hope for the future. Here are the grade six classes with their director, Mark Thibault, performing their song, One World.
one world. Thank you to the grade six classes from Gander Academy. Ever since last September 11, the people of the United States of America have continued to express their gratitude to Canadians for our help and for our support. The United States Ambassador to Canada, His Excellency, Mr. Paul Cellucci, will now bring greetings on behalf of the American people. Mr. Cellucci. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Premier, Mr. Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Mayor, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On this day, we remember, first of all, the lives lost and the families that were shattered. And our prayers and best wishes go out to those who continue to bear the greatest loss. We also remember today with great gratitude Canada's overwhelming support and help for the United States in our time of need. Within minutes of these attacks, the Prime Minister had called our embassy in Ottawa and said, whatever is necessary, we will be there with you. Soon, planes began to land across Canada. Here, the people of Ganda, you opened your homes, your schools, your churches, you opened your hearts, and I am proud to be with the people of Ganda today. We saw this human kindness and this generosity of spirit all across this country. I will never forget the September 14th memorial in front of the Parliament building. We will never forget the humanitarian assistance that Canadians provided to the victims in New York City and Washington, D.C. We are grateful for the extraordinary work of your law enforcement and intelligence communities working with our law enforcement and intelligence communities to track down and put terrorists out of commission uh, here in North America. We have built a zone of confidence in North America, a smart border, un frontier ouverto commerce, mais ferme aux terroristes. And we are also most grateful to the Canadian military for its outstanding efforts in the war in Afghanistan. We continue to mourn We continue to mourn the four soldiers whose lives were lost in the friendly fire incident. We honor them and their comrades for their commitment to freedom. So I come to Ganda to say, thank you, Ganda. Thank you, Canada. But we also must remember that our work is not done. Much has been accomplished in this campaign against terrorism in the past year, but this struggle will require vigilance, perseverance, courage, and sacrifice for many years to come. Canada and the United States must continue to work as partners and as great friends in the days and the weeks and the months and the years ahead to defeat global terrorism, to maintain our way of life, and to build a bright future for our children. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Your Excellency. The response of the Canadian people to the tragic events of September 11 is indeed symbolic of the Canadian values of compassion, generosity, and caring. We are very proud of this, and so is our Prime Minister. Please welcome with me the Right Honourable Jean Chrétien, Prime Minister of Canada. Ambassador, Premier, Lieutenant Governor, Mayor, Ministers, Leaders of Political Parties in Ottawa, Mesdames et Messieurs, Ladies and Gentlemen. 
September 11, 2001 began like any other day. At about this time, the workday was beginning as usual. Here in Gander and throughout North America, life was unfolding with the normal rhythm for this time of day and this time of year. In New York City and Boston, 24 Canadians were quietly going about their business. And then, like a clap of thunder, September 11, 2001, 2001 became a day like no other. It became 9-11. La vie, l'espoir et les rêves des innocentes victimes canadiennes et de milliers d'autres ont été brutalement écourtés le 11 septembre. Pour les familles, le monde a basculé ce jour-là dans une douleur atroce. Pour les Canadiens et les gens de partout, ce fut un choc qui nous a laissé sans mots et un sentiment d'impuissance devant l'inimaginable. Nous avons vu sur nos écrans de télévision le côté sombre de la nature humaine se déchaîner sauvagement, se relevant se révélant dans toute son horreur à la face d'un monde bouleversé. Mais alors même que le monde essayait de comprendre les attentats perpétrés contre Washington et le World Trade Center, ici à Gander et un peu partout au Canada, le côté le plus admirable de la nature humaine commençait déjà à se manifester. « Unseen to our eyes » 239 aircraft bearing thousands of passengers suddenly found themselves with no place to land. With great skill, the Canadian air navigation system landed each of them safely. More than half of them landed here in Newfoundland and Labrador, in Gander, St. John's, Stephenville, Goose Bay and Deer Lake. But once they landed, the real work began. In the span of a few short hours, the population of Gander doubled. It has been said that in Newfoundland and Labrador, there are no strangers, just friends you have not met yet. On 9-11, the people of Gander and the surrounding communities showed how true that is. You did not miss a beat. You emptied your closets of bed sheets and your stores of food. You opened your homes. You poured out your sympathy. You extended a friendly hand and offered a friendly ear. And the stories of appreciation are so numerous. I read about a couple from New Jersey who came away thinking that the College of North Atlantic in Gander was a four-star hotel. <laughs> or of the flight attendant who said in her thanks you letter, thank you letter, we arrived unexpected from the skies as strangers but rose again into the clouds as your brothers and sisters. Sometimes the most moving words are the simplest, and I could sense the pure feeling of relief expressed by one passenger who had been struck stuck on a plane for 21 hours. He remembered that when he entered the Appleton Community Center at 3 a.m., the first words he heard were, welcome, please come in, we have coffee and food. My friends, 9-11 will live long in memory as a day of terror and grief, but thanks to the countless acts of kindness and compassion 
done here in Gander and right across Canada, to those stranded visitors, it will live forever in memory as a day of comfort and healing. You did yourselves proud, ladies and gentlemen, and you did Canada proud. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime Minister. And now, soon we in Gander will join people gathered in New York and in other cities around the world to observe a moment of silence for those who lost their lives on September 11, 2001. Shortly thereafter, we'll unveil a plaque. But during our moment of silence, if you will look to the right, the Canadian and American flags will be lowered by Chief Noel Rideout of Gander Fire and Rescue, Chief David Brett of the Emergency Response Services here at Gander International Airport, Constable Carolyn Latang of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and Corporal Logan Bennett of the Department of National Defence, Nine Wing Gander. In just moments, we will begin our moment of silence. I ask you now to please rise in respect for our moment of silence. Mr. The Honorable David Colinette, if you would please step forward. We have an opportunity to unveil a special plaque, the Prime Minister and I. The Prime Minister is uh, unveiling a plaque here on behalf of us all. Mr. Colinette. Cette plaque rend hommage à la grande générosité de nombreuses personnes, organisations et collectivités de tous les pays le 11 septembre 2001. Le actes de bienveillance inestimable nous rappelle à quel point l'entraide et la compassion sont des valeurs canadiennes qui nous tiennent à cœur. La terreur des événements de 11 septembre restera à jamais gravée dans notre mémoire collectif. Nul oubliera la contribution exceptionnelle de nos compatriotes, celle des gens de Gander et des environs et exemplaires. This marker is a tribute to the generous acts of individuals, organizations, and communities across Canada on September the 11th, 2001. Their countless acts of caring remind us that compassion and generosity are truly cherished as Canadian values. The terrible events of September the 11th will live forever in our collective memory. We shall never forget the victims nor the truly outstanding contributions of our fellow Canadians as exemplified by the people of Gander and area. Unveiled in Gander, Newfoundland and Labrador by the Right Honourable Jean Chrétien, Prime Minister of Canada, Premier Minister of Canada, September the 11th, 2002. Now, if I may introduce two wonderful performers, Mallory Johnson and Mr. Charlie Rogers, who will sing for us the Star Spangled Banner and the Old Canada. Mallory, please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the 
twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous night O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming Johnson and Mr. Charlie Rogers for a moving conclusion to this special ceremony. Thank you. I would like now to take the time to thank all of you for coming here today to remember and to commemorate our freedom and our friendship. In our audience are some passengers who were stranded in Gander just last year. They were returned to visit friends, returned to people who open up their hearts and their homes to then strangers. They have come back to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of them and for the generous hearts, generous hearts of Canada. Could all of our American friends please stand up? We want to give you a big round of applause. All of our American friends. Thank you, Prime Minister, thank you, Premier, Lieutenant Governor, Ambassador, Ministers, all special guests. This is the conclusion of our ceremony. I would invite you now uh, to join us inside in the airport terminal uh, where we'll have a, uh, a reception, but now, and we'll also be joined by Mr. Kelly Russell, who will play a rollicking tune as our special guests leave the stage. Au revoir, everyone. Goodbye, and goodbye, and keep friends. Thank you very much for attending.
Of the 226 airplanes rerouted to Canada on September 11th of last year, 34 commercial and four military airplanes landed at this site of uh, Gander, Newfoundland. Its population, 10,000. And you've been watching coverage of today's ceremony. And there you see on your screen the proximity of Gander, Newfoundland to the three other places on September 11th, which were being concentrated on today, New York, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the Pentagon. Meanwhile, in Arlington, Virginia, this morning, just across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C., we're about 30 minutes away from the ceremony that's going to be happening there. We'll bring you live coverage of it. President Bush will be speaking there. Also, Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld will be there. Near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, which was site of the crash of United uh, 93, it's also about, uh, about 30 minutes or so from the beginning of the ceremony there. Tom Ridge, the Homeland Security Director and the former governor of that state, Pennsylvania, is are going to be speaking there. And you can see that on our website, if you like. We'll have taped coverage of it a little bit later today. Now, let's go to the World Trade Center in New York City.